Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about is it possible to use one date column with the two slices in a page of the same table of the same column? Let's discuss this in this video. It's a real world case and solution in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file. In this, I have this sales table. Let's go and check out the sales table, how it actually looks. So this is just a simple table, is the transaction dates and then the sales amount. Now the requirement is we just want to compare it with the last one month of sales with the user selected dates. In that case, here for an example, I have selected here the last one week of the data from 24th of Jan to 30th of Jan. These are the sales amount. And then the user can change whatever he wanted here, just want to compare it here. If you look at this, the value is changed here. And now if the user wants to change this to this one, like is this one to compare it with the calendar one month, that is now we are in February, right? It just takes the value from January 1st to 35th of Jan, this is the month. And now the user wants to compare this manually by themselves. So they can take it like December complete month. So 31st of December to the 1st of December. So here they just want to select it here and select the month to the 1st of December. So by saying this, it is possible here that we can use one date here with the two different visuals. How this works is, I will tell you now. So it's 129 and 173, the values we got it here. Now how I have done here, I have taken the slicer with this one, with the same transaction date table from this table, and then I'll change this to relative date here. After that, I just created this one, a card visual is the sum of amount here, nothing else. It's just, if you look at the visualization pane, it's just the sum here, sum of this amount. Now I have taken another slicer. It's also coming from the same table, the same column. And here I have just selected this to be between. And another card visual here is the sales amount. It's also the sum of the same column. Now how these two things behave differently is just with the help of edit interaction. So if you select this slicer here and then go to format tab on the top ribbon and click on this edit interaction. You click here, I have just disable edit interaction of this slicer here. Because whenever the user changes this one, it doesn't have to affect this one. So that's why it doesn't have impact. Whenever I change this here, it's not impacting here. And also for this one as well. And if you select this slicer, I just turn off this and this because I don't want to react any changes, whatever I whatever the users do here. They should not have the impact of these two. I made a video about the edit interaction in detail about how it is and actually how it works. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back here. So as the name of the title of this video, is it possible we can use a one date column with the two slicers? Yes, it is possible. Now there's a trick here is we got the value here. As you can see it here, the January 1st to 1st of month, this is a static value which I can compare this to this one. Now the thing is, can you able to make the difference between these two? Like we'll just take an example of calculator. So here for the January is 129 minus 173. I need a value like this, like 44 is the minor actually. In December, we had a good sales. 173k whereas in january it's low 129 so we made a loss of 44k here can you want to get this using this setup hmm. i don't think so it's possible here because edit interaction is just the visual purpose but we can't use this feature inside a measure or inside a calculated column for that we need to create a table and a date table that table has to link between these two and then we had to do different different calculations for that. So let's do that. So I'm going to add a new table here, go to modeling and then new table. 
I'll just take a calendar table here. So date table equal to calendar. I made a video about the calendar tax as well. Just check out the link given on top of your screen. I'm coming back here, minimum of the trans date to max of the trans date. That's it. Now let's go and have a look at the data. Hit a tab and clicking on the date table is just a list of dates here. Now let's click on the manage relationship. As you can see, there is no relationship here and even I don't want the relationship for now. So click close here and go to this visuals here. Now let's create a measure. But before that, I need to add a slicer here. So I'm just copying this one because I want to keep the formattings of this one. Going here and then I want to delete this and take it from the date table. Yeah, so now it is here. So these are dates which are selected from the date table, right? So I'm going to use this as a master date calendar just to identify it is. So this is coming from the calendar, right? So these are two things here. Now let's create a new measure here. So click here and sum of measures. I will just create two measures, sum of sales and sum of calendar sales. Sum of sales is equal to sum of sales amount. That's it. It's just a simple thing. Now one more measure. Click here, sales and new measure. Some sales calendar equal to, I just want to use a calculate function here. Calculate sum of sales amount. Now I just want to remove all the filters from the sales transaction date. So all tables from the sales table, the transaction date. And now I want to apply the filter here. So even on the second line, dates between the trans date it should be minimum of the date table date and it's the maximum of the date table date whatever the user has selected here click ok and then the close bracket and one more close bracket to finish off the calculation and then commit now as you can see the value is changed here so this should be work like this so what i'm doing it here is sum of sales amount i'm just removing all the sales what are the filters it has applied from the one slicer example in this case this slicer and then applying a new filter which has created from the master date calendar table so right so by doing that we just get the exact values here okay now we need to add one more measure that is the difference so it's going here new measure then the difference here is i just want to use the measure here sum of sales minus sum of calendar that's it now copying this removing this here and I want to add the difference here. See, this is the difference here. So now if I change this one to just follow to 1st of Jan, it is giving me a value here. If I do the same thing here, for example, I just want to take the value from 1st of Jan itself. It is zero, right? It means it is perfectly working. So as for the title of the video is one date column possible for the two slicers. It's possible, but if you want to make the difference out of it, it's not possible. You have to use a different date table to do that. So for a quick recap, what I have done here is I just added a new table. There's the calendar table with the help of this calendar minimum of the sales transition table and max of sales transition table and then I have created a sum of sales 
it is just to get the sum of sales amount on the sales table and then i use this one sum of sales calendar table here what it does is calculate some of the sales amount and then i am removing all the slicer with whatever i have applied here using this slicer okay because this is from one table and this from another table so i have removed all the tables here and sorry i have removed all the filters here and then i am applying a new filter that's a date between the sales starts and date but i am just taking the minimum and maximum value whatever the user has selected from this one there's a different new table which you have created here so date table date of minimum here and max of date table date here by doing that we get these results here now if i change the values here from let's take an example the 1st of december to the end of december this gives you two different values here so 1st of december to the whole month of december i got 173 and whole month of january i got 129 and after that i have just created one another measure just to find out the difference between these two so i have used the sum of sales when a sum of sales calendar sum of sales nothing but from the base table sum of sales calendar is taking from the calendar table so by doing this we got this result i believe you got a brief idea about how you can use a one date table column with a two slices if you don't want to find out the difference here but if you want to find the difference we have to make a new different table to make those calculations here if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications if you are not yet a member of our channel just hit the join button to know in detail about it share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video